So um, to, I guess, identify this or expand on this a little bit more, let's look at a couple of quick examples. A neutral salt's created, and we've looked at some examples of these, so I won't go through it in too much detail. I'm also being very lazy and not writing the subscripts because uh, I figure you want to try and get through these videos rather than sit and watch me write forever. Um, so here is a strong acid, hydrochloric, with a strong base, sodium hydroxide, and what we form is a neutral salt, sodium chloride, which is going to be aqueous. It's going to be um, dissolved in the solution, and it is a neutral salt. And so this one is going to therefore give us an equivalence point where the pH is equal to 7. If the salt we produce is an acidic salt, an acidic salt is produced by a weak base. So if we have something like hydrochloric acid again, but this time we add uh, ammonia, then we're going to form ammonium ions and chloride ions. So this is what we're going to form in solution for our reaction. The problem with this, of course, is this being the conjugate acid of a um, weak base means that this salt taken together while it's going to remain in the solution um, is going to interact with is going to interact with the water molecules and when it interacts with the water molecules what it's going to do um, is it's going to donate a proton to those which is going to mean we're going to have some hydronium ions and the increase in the hydronium ion concentration is what produces our acidic salt. If we look at a basic salt, a basic salt is going to be produced by a weak acid. So this time maybe we're looking at um, acetic acid. So if this is to react with sodium hydroxide, then what we're going to get in this case is going to be um, water molecules. Uh, just put the arrow down here, water molecules again. But our base is going to be sodium acetate, ch 3 c O minus. So it's sodium acetate. We know that sodium and uh, acetate ions are soluble, so it will be in solution, so it will be an aqueous. So these ions are available, and again, this one being a weak, uh, uh, sorry, coming from a weak acid will be a strong conjugate base, and as a result of that, it will interact with water, and being a base, it will take a proton and leave us with an excess of a slightly larger concentration of hydroxide ions. I've run through this very quickly and you need to have a look at some specific examples which we will go through in class. But these kinds of examples of what happens um, when we put different combinations of strong and weak acids and bases together is why some of our pHs do not come out at the equivalence point of 7, but sometimes they're a little bit lower in the case of acidic salts in the second example and a little higher in the example of basic salts in the third example. Again, have a play around with some examples, have a look and, and see if you can match these with the titration curves that we looked at in the last video uh, in order to get a sense of what's actually happening with each of these different types of um, salts. So good luck and thanks for watching.